Hi, welcome to SFG Cards and Craft. Today I'd like to show you how I did this card. Uh, this card is actually uh, one of six stamps that's in the set by Cat's L Craft. Um, and this is the uh, the hippo, the flying hippopot hippopotamus. Sorry for that tongue tied. Um, I'm just showing here that I'm stamping. I actually, as you can see there to the right, I actually stamp multiples of each of these cards. Um, I'm only actually showing painting of one, um, but I actually put the cards away so that when I need more of the card I've already got them stamped and I don't have to worry about dragging everything out again so I've, I just put them aside um, usually about four I'll do maybe five perhaps depends on sometimes I actually have orders so I'll do more um, just doing the background here I've, I've already uh, die cut for a want of a better word the pierced clouds the Avery L pierced clouds I've actually put the little pierced cloud into there there's actually three of those little clouds it just is to show that the little hippo is actually flying high above the ground there's no ground actually in this one it's all just sky um, so he's uh, basically dreaming of uh, flying it actually reminds me of a, a movie that I think Disney put or might have been Warner Brothers put out oh, when I was only a little kid uh, and it had um, it might have been Fantasia which was a Walt Disney movie um, and it had this little ballerina type flying hippo I think it was flying anyway um, and that sort of reminded me of this or oh, should I say this reminded me of that but anyway um, here I'm actually still got working on uh, putting the background and I'm, I'm not trying to get a nice smooth even sort of flat surface with the clouds also with the sky because there is clouds sort of obviously there in a distance and they would be lightening the sky in patches so I'm, I'm just showing that the sky is blue he's flying up in the sky so that's pretty obvious I think by what I've done there um, if I did want to have it a good smooth coat of the blue I would have gone all over and actually had a mask for the hippo but I didn't worry about doing that I, I didn't need to have it perfectly smooth <coughs> and what I'm doing there is I'm just going over the clouds because some of the clouds did actually get some of the blue the salty ocean into them and I'm just going with my water pen and just getting rid of the colour out of them. It's easy enough to do, you just have to dampen it and then just blot it off. And the two colours I'm doing uh, is pumice stone and black soot. <coughs> and there's also antique linen and blueprint sketch. I'm really liking this blueprint sketch. I only discovered the colour of it actually only on one of my cards that I've just done recently. Up until then I'd never even used it. But I'm, I'm really enjoying this colour. I've been putting it into... Uh, this This is actually one of the, the six cards that I've worked on. I've put it I think into every one of these cards so far. Uh, so uh, pretty much every card that I've actually done since I discovered the colour I've actually put this blueprint sketch in. Um, I've, I've also gone through my um, boxes that I've got my distress inks and I found there's a few more colours that I've never really used. Um, Barn Door is one of them and that's quite a nice sort of deep red colour. I, I might actually use that in some of them later on too. And there's a few other colours that I haven't really used in uh, any of my videos. Uh, anyway, um, covering the whole hippo here with uh, the pumice stone. Just uh, like a fairly even coating for now. I haven't done the wing. The, the wing I actually come in and do that one later on. That's where the blueprint sketch comes in. I decided I'd, and, and I've also used blueprint sketch on the eye. I, I put a little blue eye, pair of eyes in there for him. Uh, not sure if it's a, a boy one or a girl one. It's, it's hard to tell. I do put a flushed cheek on it later on though, so it could be any one or the other. And just putting in a little bit slightly darker there bring in a bit more colour um, this is a fairly quick card so I won't worry about putting any music on for this one it's uh, a fairly quick card to do it's uh, there's not much in it really um, the whole card probably only took about 15 or 20 minutes to do this this video I've actually left it is about almost it's just slightly faster than real time I have probably only sped it up about 30 percent I don't think I've sped it more than that where, I've, where I have sped it, uh, not every scene has been sped. Um, the little teeth, that's where the antique linen comes in. I've uh, done that with them and I'm using an angle brush to do the shading. This is bringing black soot in now to do the shading. Uh, I'm usually uh, concentrating first on the lines that the artist has actually drawn in as shade lines. So that's where I'm concentrating the uh, shading first.
be having a bit of problems there, sorry. <laughs> um, a little bit of a hair probably attached to the brush. I really love this stamp set. I've um, only recently got it actually, I, I probably only within the last week or two that I've actually got it, probably two weeks now I'd say I've been working on doing all these cards. I've, I've working on at the moment about 10 or 11 videos that will be going up in fairly quick succession um, from pretty much from this after this card is actually done. This one may not be the first one up though, I don't know, it just depends. Um, I'm not really sure of what order they're going to go up and yet just whatever is sort of clicked on next will be get the next one up. But I've got the sixth of these cards, which is all the animals, I've done one for each, um, plus a few others. So I'm, I'm doing a hints and tips video as well, so just watch out for that. And just a little bit of shading there, um, just below the top lip, sort of a little bit more on where the artist has actually indicated the shading to be. I think on this one also I actually put pink toenails on, on the little character but really it's really hard to see because the little toenails are t so tiny. But the, the pink would probably be the uh, worn lipstick I would say. That's the colour I'm usually using when I'm doing pink on cheeks and things like that. So. I would expect that that's what I've actually used here. <coughs> I know I've said it before but it's worth saying again these angle brushes that I'm using this is the quarter inch angle Arts, uh, basic, Art Basics I think it is um, it really doesn't matter what brand you use but this is an art basics one this is the ones I can actually get locally here um, it's it's one of my favorite brushes I guess I, I've, I use have because I've been doing folk art in the past this is probably one of the most brushes that I've ever used I've worn out so many of them but um, nearly every week I was actually buying one of these brushes when I was going to my art classes but of course I haven't been to art classes now for quite a lot of years um, I think I've probably learned just about everything I can from my teacher in fact, she's got me over there now helping out with teaching uh, on occasion. So uh, when she needs a bit of help, she just calls on me and I'll come over and help her. Um, okay, just putting a bit of more shade on. I'm leaving a bit of a highlight patch on this one to indicate that uh, it's sort of flying and that there's a bit of light shining on half on, on its side and the rest of it's in the, in the, like in the dark sort of thing. So, uh, so it's sort of probably like it's soaring, I guess, like it turning. I, I'm not really sure. I mean, I'm, I'm not really into those uh, flying sort of... Um, details and things so I'm, I'm not sure what you'd call it but anyway there's um, that I think was worn lipstick I think coming on there I don't think there was the picked raspberry worn lipstick I'd say and I'm just putting on a little toenails but as I said it's very hard to see them even I'm holding the card in front of me as I'm, as I'm watching this video and I cannot see the pink on there so I'll very my eyes so it's not very good though um, very very faint perhaps slightly pink it's hard to say, but I did put it on there, and then a little bit on the cheek. But I didn't dry brush. I don't think the cheek. I think I or did I? Maybe I'm bringing in a dry brush. Yes, I am. Um, dry brushing is you have a brush that's dry. You don't dip it in water. It's completely dry. You dip it into your paint, and then you will actually remove a lot of that wetness from the from the brush with like a tissue or something um, and you, it, it basically stops that where you get a like a harsh line if you're putting wet onto dry paint you get that harsh line this won't do that you won't get that harsh line if you put a dry brushing it on so uh, that's what I was doing there was dry brushing on the cheek so you, what you do is you basically as I said dry the brush with the ink on it and you, you so you're left with a little bit of color but no not much moisture very little moisture I'm not sure what I was quite doing there. Maybe I'd gone over something I shouldn't have. Okay, bringing in the blueprint sketch now for the wing. It's a shame that there's only one wing showing in here. 
and this little guy would be a bit like a bumblebee where they they say a bumblebee should not be able to fly because of the size of his body and the size of its wings it should not be able to fly but they seem to be able to fly quite well one of those mister mist, uh, what do you call it mistaken things that they say they shouldn't be able to fly and I'm just doing the little eyes here just putting a little bit of blueprints blueprint sketch into the eyes and you notice that I actually took some glasses off there I actually had my reading glasses on but they're actually an old prescription I've had an increase in lenses since those ones and um, I, I had my other ones hanging around my neck because when I use my computer I have to have other glasses anyway there's the panel done um, looks like I've already done the spectrum wire on the clouds I've shown that on every one of these videos that I've done so far uh, Avery L that's the stamp set that I actually use put the word celebrate and the happy birthday from Avery L um, and on the top I've got chase your dreams that one came from that that one there Kimmy uh, crafting Kimmy stamp set and it's got that chase your dreams written on it and there's the card I hope you enjoyed this and if you did um, please subscribe and also click the like button. Thank you. Bye-bye.